guys, so I figured I would go ahead and also do an updated video of my adult coloring books and some more finished pages. So I think the last video, um, the last picture that you saw finished was this one, which is still one of my favorites that I've done. Um, I just really like the way the waterfall looks and just everything like that. So I haven't been able to do a lot of pages. I haven't been able to finish a lot because, well, you know, I got pregnant and I had my son and just things get busy. Let me actually zoom you in just a little bit. Sorry. Okay. So this is another one that I finished. Some of these I felt like I didn't put in as much time as I might have my other ones. Sorry, I feel like you're crooked some. Um, just because, like I said, it's you're really busy when you have a baby and coloring takes a lot of time if you really want to put in a lot of detail and, and just, you know, blending and things. So this is just like a park bench with a fountain. And again, I love these colors for this water. This one I just did not too long ago. And I actually kind of really like the way it turned out. I know it's so weird. I don't know why I went with weird colors like the pink water or the orange mountains, but I just kind of wanted to do something different. And that's what's awesome about adult coloring books is that you are free to do anything that you want, any type of color you want, whether you want to go more realistic or more fantasy. It's just, I don't know, it's super relaxing and fun. And I just, I really love the way the water turned out. I think it looks very pretty. And this is the current one. I think I just started that one not too long ago, and all I've done so far are like the bricks, and then this paper, I've done a video on this, this is just like color swatches, so I'm going to show you, and then this is the book, this is for the Living Colors book, I'm going to show you the thinnest pages I have now for my Pop Manga coloring book, which is my favorite coloring book that I have, so the last um, finished page that you guys saw was this one, and I love the way this turned out too. So here's another finished one, and this is like, I'm not sure if those are a bunch of moths or butterflies or maybe a mixture, but I just kind of really wanted to do, I don't know, I wanted them all to be sort of different colors. I wanted each one to have their own color, like I wanted just each one to be a totally different color, but I think I did end up repeating some. Like, here's the light pink, light pink, and then so on and so forth. There's two purples. I think I ended up going with two of each color instead. Um, and I don't know why she's crying. Maybe they're biting her or something. <laughs> but, and I went with purple eyes for this one. Just something different. So then here is the... Let me zoom you out a little bit. This book is larger, I think, than the other one. This one you guys saw in my video where I was showing you how to pick color palettes. And again, if you didn't watch my first um, finished page coloring book video, I say that I, I kind of don't want to do the patterns in the background. I kind of want to maybe save those for last. Um, but I have seen some people fill in the background and it looks really great with the, the picture, the focused picture. So this one... I gave her a little blonde hair, and she has, like, very light-tinted pink lips and bright blue eyes. She's almost doll-like. And I went with, like, a light blue and pink teddy bear with some purple accents. I really like the color of the teddy bear. I thought that turned out really nice. And then I just kept the stuffing white and added some gray shading. And then here is another one that's finished. I don't really like the way that her hair turned out. I think I was going for a brunette with blonde highlights. And I was just experimenting. And I don't really like the way it turned out that much. But I do really love the feathers on the bird. Um, I know that like his body is brown, but his wings are a totally different color. I just wanted to do something different once again. These are like four different shades of blue. With a little bit of purple in there, I think. And then this is a lighter blue. And I really like the way her bow turned out. I think that's pretty cute. That, like, baby pink color. And I have skipped these two. I know I said that I wanted to go in order, but these ones have so much detail. And I don't really have a lot of downtime anymore. And, like, whenever I do coloring, I like to sit down and finish it in one go. I know that seems so weird. 
um, because I, clearly I have the option to come back to it. But I feel like I just want to finish it in one go because my ideas are fresh at the moment. So I just skipped these. They're just so detailed and they don't have, she has, they have like blank eyes and I wasn't really sure what to do with that just yet. I skipped these ones too because this is just a large piece because this whole background instead of a pattern, it's a, like water and I just wasn't really sure where to go with that. And the reason I skipped this one is because I don't know if this is the artist's intention, but she looks like a child version of Snow White. And so I'm not really good with the black and brunette hairs yet, and I wanted to really do good on this one. I wanted to give her the lips as red as blood, and skin as white as snow, and hair dark, and she's got the apples. So I just kind of want to get better with my skills before I start on that picture. These two I love. These are probably my favorite in this book. The, I think the Mermaids is my top. This one's next. So these ones are like these weird girls with like um, like uh, squid tentacles or octopus tentacles or whatever. Um, but I wanted to do I wanted to do like where she had blue hair and green eyes, and then she had green hair and blue eyes. So I wanted to like mix and match them that way. I really like the way it turned out. And then this one has the pink tentacles where this one has purple tentacles. I just really like the way it turned out. I think it's very pretty and sort of pastel-y looking. The colors are very light. This one is my favorite I've done in this book. I just absolutely love the way this turned out. I went with a blue and pink themed where this is like that pink purpley coral and this is that nice blue. It just, I don't know, I really loved it. And then I chose to give her, my camera will focus, but I chose to give her green eyes and like the pink fins, but the mermaid tail is sort of corally. And I think that's the last page I did. So I was hoping to get this filmed before my young man woke up from his nap, and it sounds like he's waking up now. So I'm going to have to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, poor thing. Um, yeah, those are my finished, updated, finished pages for my adult coloring books. The pop manga and the living colors. See you in the next video, guys.